folks, welcome back. So what I want to do in this video is just talk about my next project. Um, I've got another kitchen to build, but in the meantime, while I'm doing the kitchen, you know, if I feel like taking a break, then what I'm going to work on is uh, a new lathe copier. And, uh, you know, if you guys have been following my videos, then you've seen, and if you haven't, just have a look through for the drum sander build. I actually turned the drums using the table saw. I made a simple slide system that went back and forth, and then, you know, by raising the blade I could change the, 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 the diameter of the uh, of the drum and I'll tell you like it did an incredible good job I was just thoroughly uh, impressed with how good a job it done um, I had played around with using a saw blade to uh, do some turning with my other uh, rig that I made there for the lathe the floating router I tried the skill saw on it but it wasn't set up right now that I've had a little bit more time to think about it and uh, and to uh, doing it on the table saw, I figured out that my angle was wrong, number one, the way that my blade was coming into the, uh, the saw. And, uh, you know, I was spinning the lathe way too fast. If I had it just went, you know, had my lathe just spinning slow, then the saw wouldn't have dug in like it did. But at the time, um, you know, the, the floating router, uh, it, it worked really good. You know, um, I was really happy with the way it turned out, but I think that, using the skill saw will even do a better job because it's not it's going to cure a couple of problems with that rig and the uh the big one is is the the profile you know it you can make some nice profiles using a half inch cutter however uh with with this thing with you know i'm only going to be a quarter of an inch wide then uh i'm going to be able to to get it a lot tighter profiles and uh and the other thing is too is you know with the with the way that was set up if I was turning a big stick then I found that right near the near the end it was hard to come in and make a you know a tapered kind of post there at the end because the router didn't quite stick out far enough so that's going to cure that and the other thing it's going to cure too is I'm sure that using this skill saw I'm going to be able to make a lot more compact little unit just something that's going to sit up on the bench when I don't need it I'm going to be able to pick it up slide it under the bench and uh you know, and I and and I think the quality is going to be a lot better too because you know you think about it. If I was trying to cut wood with a little wee half inch bit, uh, it just doesn't do as good a job because it's just a little wee cutter. But this big swipe of the saw will you know do a way better job. And plus, you know, with the router bit, it was just a couple of cutters, a couple of little pieces of carbide. Well, with this, I'm going to have you know 40 uh, piece of cutters, and plus that big swipe is is what's going to make the difference. And uh, so. You know, my plan is, is the way that, you know, just the original, you know, just starting out here before I do any cutting on it is I'm going to make some sort of just flat platform. I'm going to make a little homemade uh, lathe that, you know, something that'll be able to be adjusted a couple of, a couple of pins to, uh, to be able to mount it. And then I'm going to have to make some sort of little gearbox on it because I want this lathe to spin super slow and I don't want to spin it by hand. I want this to spin by itself. And then the skill saw is going to be mounted in some sort of little slide mechanism that will slide back and forth and then it'll have to be able to go in and out and then a pin directly in back of the blade that it'll be able to go in and then you know slide and then follow a contour to be able to carve out whatever copy I had in behind so um, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to let this burn for a while in the back of the brain I'm going to start cutting up some melamine for a kitchen get to a certain point and then I'll be able to play around with this and uh, you know, if you guys got any ideas about this, just kind of shoot me a comment. And the other thing is, too, is um, I want you guys to uh, to start uh, in the comment section below. I want you to, you know, if you guys want to see me make something, then leave a comment and say, you know, I want to see you make this. And then after this, we get this done, then that's what we'll do next. So I'm going to let you guys decide what we're going to build after this floating I'm not going to call it the floating skill saw. We'll call it the sliding skill saw because that's more what it's going to do. Uh, the, float, the, the sliding skill saw lathe copier is what we'll call this, or super lathe, I'm going to call it, because I think this is going to by far be the best lathe copier that I've made. And then, then once we get this done, we'll make something that you guys want to see made. So hopefully you guys are having fun watching, and uh, you know, keep tuning in for the rest of this series. And if you're just finding my videos for the first time, have a look through. There's tons and tons of wooden tool stuff that uh, I'm sure you'll have fun watching and uh, I'm sure you get excited about making too so uh, so hopefully you guys are having fun we'll see you next time and uh, I thank you for watching this video